everybody making a post Halloween video today. Ryan is in her turtles costume. This is what happens when you let your six year old son pick up the costume. Actually, part of it was I couldn't find any costumes that were small enough for her. Excuse me, and little girls. And my son found this one, and pretty much after that, it was over. And I thought it was cute as well. Came with some little booties. And then her hat. And you can change which turtle you would like. So there's all four of the turtles. Purple seems to be her color, so I went with it. And if we decide to change which turtle she is, we've got all four. Um, the other thing that is so adorable is, Jack, get out of the way. It's got a little shell on the back. So I thought that was cute. And I'm going to take her out of her Halloween costume since Halloween is over. And get her dressed in this, the elephant's outfit. And I want to thank her Uncle Matt for finding the purple pants for us. I had been gone to all the Walmarts in our local area looking for these in size newborn and I could not find them anywhere. And he was kind enough to stop at one of his local Walmarts and found them in size newborn for us. So I'm going to put on the purple pants and... It is a, the Walmart onesie brand, I think onesies, and it's got little elephants, a purple elephant and a pink elephant with the purple scallop. And I keep going back and forth because I got the three pairs of pants and three onesies that match each one. The other sets that I have are the butterfly with pink and I have some hot pink pants and this one is um, princess with some light pink pants to match the scalp they have three more onesies one is purple cupcakes I believe it's cupcakes I know that and I think it's purple um, they have some big flowers but I want to say that one is the light matches the light pink pants. And then the other one is, oh, what is it? I know what's with the hot pink. It's got some animals on it, I want to say. I can't remember exactly. And I keep going back and forth every time I go to Walmart. They're $2 each. But then I like to have matching sets. And yes, I know we could do mix and match with them, but I don't know. I just keep wavering back and forth. And let's see. The only bad thing about this costume is it's really tight. Hopefully next Halloween we'll have a reborn boy that is smaller. And he can wear it. If not, we can squeeze her in it. It's supposed to be size, it's, the costume said zero to six months. And that is a really tiny six month old considering she's wearing newborn clothes. And it was, it's a little hard to get on and off of her as well as buttoning her crotch was kind of fun getting done because I didn't want to button, but... She does have a cloth diaper on, so that may be part of it. Forgot to snap the neck. I get this off of her. And it is really cute. I thought it was adorable. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about these. I don't think I did a haul video from her first outing. We went to Carter's. And this is what she got from Carter's. It's a... Uh, purple owl sleeper with little purple hopefully it focuses feet and a little purple owl on the butt 
she seems to be going with the owl theme. And the other thing that we got that day was, I picked up this at Target. And it's got, it's pink, it looks like it's a uh, double layered shirt. And it's got two little pink foxes. I got that at Target. Size newborn, just one year. They're Carter's brand. And I put that on her another day. And I'm so excited to show you as long as I'm showing other clothes. I know I had showed you this in her haul video. It is the Zutano brand. It is size newborn um, dress. And I was looking for pink pants to go with it and I couldn't find any, but I did find the aqua color pants, which do still look really cute with it, as well as I found the matching hat. So I was so excited to have that little set. I've got a few other things from that brand coming hopefully soon. One of them I got from a buy sell page on Facebook and it was a little irritating. I messaged the seller a week later. She replies back, oh, what were you wanting? I showed it to her. She invoiced, I paid right away. And a week later, no shipping, no information, no nothing. So I messaged her again. I'm like, okay, have you shipped them? It's like, oh, oh, no, sorry. It's just been busy for the last two weeks. I'll try to get them out tomorrow and I keep thinking, you know, maybe it's just me, but when I sell something, I try to get it out as quickly as possible. I don't like things sitting around my house that somebody that are technically somebody else's because they've paid me for them. So just a little irritating and I try to be patient. I know there's circumstances, but you know, there's also communication that you need to use with your buyers, regardless of the uh, $5 shirt or a $5,000 doll. Communication is key. And we'll put this on our, oh, and I also bought, I can't, I don't know where the other ones are. These granimals, they're zero to six months, but they're kind of tiny, little turn cuff socks. Um, they came in a set of two for, I think it was $2 uh, at Walmart. I had looked at socks when I was at Old Navy because they were on sale for 95 cents each, but they didn't really have any smaller sized clothes. And our smaller size socks, excuse me. And I don't know, like I had said in that shopping video, I just, I wasn't, I haven't been impressed with Old Navy lately. Okay. Get a diaper on. I just, I don't know. I'm, I actually used to work at Old Navy when I was in college. And I bought plenty of things then. I mean, back, yes, this was years ago. Things were good quality, good prices. And I don't know, honestly, like lately, you go in there, their styles are just kind of eh. Like not really anything special compared to other stores and their prices have gone up I mean they used to be very affordable like for clothing in general for adults kids my son had pants from there for years and we never had any issues with them and I mean I had bought them when I was pregnant with him, I, if I would see a good deal and they'd have larger sizes, you know, he was always going to grow into them. So I would buy, as I found them on clearance and good prices, like $5 a pair of jeans on clearance. Great. Stock up, buy a few in each color. And 
it worked out well. Well, I didn't, well, I knew he would grow out of, like, tot that was more toddler sizes. And I knew eventually he'd grow out of them. And, you know, I bought some Old Navy brand jeans for him recently. And the big boy size, which you would think the big boy size, they would take extra care to make sure they would last. But after a month or two, they have holes in the knees. They just, yeah, I, I just wasn't impressed with the quality of them. And like looking even at shirts. Amy, my son, is into Star Wars now and... I was looking in clearance, a clearance Star Wars shirt. They wanted, I think, $10 still for it on clearance. I walked over to Children's Place, which was pretty much right next door. And they had Star Wars shirts not on clearance, but just on sale for six. And today when I was at Walmart, I could have got him some for five. It's just... And honestly, the Walmart ones were probably about the same quality as the Old Navy ones. And they looked identical to the Old Navy ones. So, I guess I just have not been impressed with their clothes lately. But the only thing that I really buy theirs, if I can find them on clearance, is their leggings for my daughter. Because she is tall and skinny. And those probably fit the best. There's our tall and skinny jean or leggings for little girls. But I just realized she has some glitter in her hair for my daughter. She was rainbow dash for Halloween and her costume has glitter all over this house. And just so people know, I hate glitter. But she wanted to be Rainbow Dash so bad, and my parents finally found a costume for her. There she is in there. Don't know where her bow went. Oh well, she can go without a bow. She looks cute just the way she is. I put on her little sneakers that we picked up. They are Walmart's Carter's brand. I think it's a child of mine. Um, size newborn. They fit her perfectly. Uh, I did when I was at Walmart. I, like I said, I was at Walmart earlier today. I got her a few things while I was at Walmart. Not a whole lot, but... They had these bottles individually, and they were 97 cents each, or I think it was 270 something for all three of them. So I went with all three of them. That, and they only had the, these prints in the bigger sizes, and I wanted to get them the little sizes. Show you what they are. There is. It's got a fox and some butterflies and a bunny, a little hedgehog, some birds on a tree. And there's another little bird in the tree. And this one, the cover is dark red or the cap ring or whatever you want to call them. Then there's this one. The ring is blue and it's got a turtle, some flowers, some more birds. A really cute flower, two owls, a little mushroom with a bird on it. And lastly is the one with the pink ring. It has, I honestly don't know if that's supposed to be a deer or a fox. I'm thinking maybe a fox, not 100%. Um, then there's an owl up at the top. And there's an owl in the tree, and another bird in the tree, and then a squirrel. I thought those were cute. They are Parents' Choice brand. 
There was a nook one that had some hedgehogs and owls on it. That was adorable. But just for the single bottle was like $6 and for a doll I really can't spend I really can't justify right now spending $6 on a single bottle. And I found this one at the thrift store. It's Mam's brand and it's got some birds on it and a cloud and one burn hat is an umbrella and it's purple. I think I paid like a dollar for that. And I know those are more expensive than that. My daughter only used Mam brand bottles. They can be a pain in the butt to clean for a real baby, but not as bad as the Dr. Browns that my son would only take. And then I bought some Johnson's Baby Cologne. Um, hopefully I don't get a headache from the smell. Everybody said it smells fantastic. I need to get a little spray bottle. I had bought a spray bottle. I'm like, oh, I don't need to buy another little one. Have one at home. And I went to put water in it just to see how it sprayed, if it just lightly missed it, and it only has like a direct spray nozzle. So that idea is out. I'll have to see if I can find some little ones. And then this is size newborn. It's, it's by Holiday Times and it says Jingle Baby. Cute little Christmas onesie. I thought it was adorable. I try not to buy baby's first Christmas, baby's first Halloween, baby's first Thanksgiving stuff. For my real kids, they had a bunch of that stuff and it's adorable on real babies, but for, you know, like my silicone or my baby think it overs and neonates and stuff, I use the same stuff every year. So once Christmas is over, this will be packed away until next Christmas for her. And it just seems strange to put babies first Christmas when you've had them like three years, four years. Um, one of my, uh, actually most of my neonates. I know one of my neonates I have had for 12, 11 years. Yeah, I got him in 2003. Because that's when Crystal and I first started getting to know each other because I joined her baby think it over and neonate group. I got the last Caucasian boy before um, neonates closed. And then for my birthday that year, my best friend got me a native girl. And then later on, I got a Hispanic boy and a uh, dark African-American girl. I think those are the four that I have. Next week, I will get them out. They are packed away. They've been packed away for a few years. And maybe do a video with them and show them. And then I also will probably make a video with my baby Think It Over. Um, they, my husband won't be home. My husband works at nights. So he's like right now sleeping, so I try to be quiet for him during the day. But next week, he will not be home during the days, so I can be as loud as I want. I can make a big mess as long as it's picked up before I have to get kids from school. And I can do a lot more videos. I am going to be making, I know... I had somebody ask about my baby think it over. I have a Real Care 2 Plus Caucasian girl. I also have a Japanese boy that I have listed for sale. If you look on my channel, there is a video for him. Um, I bought them to start a program um, for families of kids with special needs. Um, just to, you know, if they decide they want to try to have another baby and they don't know how the child with needs will react to the baby or if they can even handle a child with special needs and, uh, and a newborn or a baby. 
I mean, I have some friends that are like, when I was talking about the program, that said, oh, you know, I'll just make that decision and just jump right in with two feet. But I know other friends that have expressed, you know, concern, like, you know, we've talked about having another child, but we just don't know how child A will react if we have child B. Because my son is autistic and he is pretty mild for the most part. He does have his areas where things can go off. And I know some kids on the spectrum sound, babies crying, it can be a major trigger for a meltdown. Well, if you bring another child into the home, you really can't take the child back if it's constantly setting off a meltdown. And, you know, it, it, as a parent, it's hard to separate the two kids constantly because you want to show child A love and affection and interaction, but you also want to show that same to child B. And it just, some parents, it's overwhelming. Like, they're extremely overwhelmed after finding out, especially if it's a first child, has special needs. Uh, my kids are close in age. My son, my daughter was born before we even knew my son was on the spectrum. Um, he was 17 months when she was born. And we honestly referred to him as her baby. And because we weren't sure how he would react to her. So it was always her baby, her baby, or his baby, his baby. She was his baby. He had to help take care of her. And that that helped a lot because it was almost like even at 17 months, he felt he was a little bit responsible for her. So he, like she would start crying and he would go grab her pacifier. Um, she would cry. He'd go look for a bottle. She, he'd look for her lovey blanket that we call Kiki. I mean, just anything to help her when she was crying so honestly having a third i don't think it would be an issue with him he loves babies he loves to hold babies um he comes into the house and he goes right to where ryan is and he asks to hold her sometimes and so i, I don't think it'll be an issue for us but i know other families that it can be so I had started this program to lend out the dolls to them. I only, when we lived in North Dakota, they were only lent out twice. And one was my friend's son was just intrigued with the robot babies, as he called them. So he just kind of wanted to more so play around with it. She's not expecting, nor is she wanting to have any more. They currently have five children with three on the spectrum and a fourth having um, apraxia of speech. And then um, the other time it was to another friend who her son was 15 and she had just had a baby, not yet. Her, her two youngest are just under a year apart like her youngest it was born a week before the second youngest first birthday well she knew that her oldest was okay with the almost one year old when he was a newborn but she didn't know how he'd react to a young toddler and a newborn so they borrowed it and it was very successful for her, but, you know, those are the only two people that have ever requested to borrow them in the last year and a half, and a year, I believe, a little over a year. And I don't just lend out the babies to whoever. Um, that, I had people contact me, oh, will you send me the doll? No. First of all, I'm not about to start sending the dolls. Um, I will only do it locally. There's waivers to sign in case a baby gets damaged. 
And, you know, I, there's certain things like, I just am not comfortable sending a doll to just a random stranger on the internet because they asked to use it. As well as a lot of it was teenagers and young kids that were asking to borrow them. Um, this, the, the program isn't intended for, how can I say it, for just that age range. You know, if it's a child with needs and it's a parent that is borrowing it to see how that child react, like a 13 year old with special needs reacts, what the parent is there to take more, the more responsibility for the doll. Yes, then that's where I borrow them, but I only borrow them locally. And I don't, like I said, I don't feel comfortable sending my baby to somebody that just requests it because I might not get it back. So I decided to keep the Caucasian girl and sell the Japanese boy. I just, I didn't really bond with him. I honestly didn't really bond with the girl and I contemplated selling her too, but at one point I sold all my baby think it overs and then I regretted it. So I'm going to hold on to her for now. Uh, I think the only way that I would sell her is if I found a, got a real care three. And if I got that, it would probably be a, um, a native boy which are the native sculpt for the baby think it over neonates is my favorite one. I love their little chubby cheeks. I'll show you more about those next week. But there's going to be lots of videos coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'll probably in the next week film a bunch of them and then just post them every couple of days. I'm not going to post them all in one day. But I don't hope, I hope to not have big breaks in the videos and I know realistically I can't just keep showing haul videos if there's anything that anybody requests that they want to see just let me know um, there's certain things you want to see um, questions that you have just ask away if there's something in a video that you've seen in the past that you want to see more of um, you know, I'm pretty open to ideas and pos So, just if you think of anything, just leave a comment or message me and I will reply. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope everybody has a good day. Bye.